Yes. All right, so Priscilla, um, you are known to use the phrase, you know, leveling the playing field in things that you talk about. Can you tell us what that means to you and, and how are you leveraging that meaning with the employees at CZI? So I think we, I, I talked a little bit about my personal experience about not everyone not having the access to the same opportunities. And it's a, and we need to really think about like right now opportunities exist, but they're not equally available to everyone. And, and everyone sort of comes from a different starting point and different barriers and different preferences. But how can we build systems with that idea of equity in mind and um, make sure that if we have an opportunity to build a platform to give students personalized learning experiences, we should also have the question in mind. Not only should it make educational outcomes better, but it should also have a lens, we should also be asking the question, how do we actually help those who need um, support the most? And it might look different. I told you about my example about our student um, who we had to choose between a nap and her math lesson. And those are hard choices and people come from all different starting points, but really thinking through, like when we think about uh, building systems, and especially in the criminal justice world. Like, how can we think with that idea of equity in mind to make sure that we're not, uh, we're actually closing gaps and we're not exacerbating gaps. Um, and, you know, there's uh, someone who told me this phenomenal story about the cr criminal justice system where they said, you know, technology has made the criminal justice system more effective, but it hasn't made it more just. How can we actually think about these problems from the ground up? We're young, we're a new organization. We, like, we, our foundation is just getting laid. How can we make sure we're laying the foundation with equity in mind? And at CZI, we are dedicated to making sure that we are building an organization where many people can thrive. Demetrius is doing a lot of that work, so thank you, Demetrius. Um, but there's two, two parts to that. Um, one, we believe, uh, we work very hard, including many of the members of uh, CZI in the room here today, that we need to hire a diverse organization. And for us, the reason to do that is because we believe that with a diverse organization and diverse viewpoints, we are actually better positioned to solve these incredibly hard problems. Like, we need people from, I, I'm not just talking about racial diversity, I'm t I, racial diversity is included, but also including people from different lived experiences, people with different careers. We have engineers and scientists and teachers and um, community organizers and people who build companies all sitting together. We're like, what are you saying? Um, there's tension in that and we disagree. And, but I believe that that tension that comes from a very diverse organization is actually the potential energy of what we can achieve at CZI.